Today, we're learning how being part of a group will help animals to survive. This is a group of zebras. A group of zebras is called a herd. Zebras live in a herd for protection. When animals live in a herd, it is hard to choose one animal from another animal. This is how they protect themselves. A group of birds is called a flock of birds. Notice, if you see one bird or two birds flying alone, it is easy to spot them. But if there are many birds flying together, a predator would not be able to pick one bird easily. A group of fish is called a swarm. Look at how this swarm moves. Very interesting. If I wanted to eat some fish, I would find it difficult to choose the fish from this swarm. This is how the fish protect themselves. A group of bees is called a swarm. Can you imagine trying to get honey from this swarm of bees? It can be very dangerous. The bees are together to protect the honey and protect their queen. This is called a pride of lions. A pride of lions are a group. The lions work together in a group to find food. A group of wolves is called a pack. A pack of wolves work together like a lion pride. They have to find food and they find it together. This wolf pack also find protection within each other. It is more dangerous to be alone than with a group. Living in a group can be helpful for many animals. Groups can be different sizes. Some groups can be big and other groups can be small. Although groups can be different sizes, the purpose of the groups is usually the same. The purpose is to survive. You have learned how being part of a group will help animals to survive. Have a great day. We hope that you enjoyed this video. To view this video in Arabic, click the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.